Toni Morrison once stated, All good art is political. There is none that isn't. And the ones that try hard not to be political are political by saying, We love the status quo. Art has always reflected society in its different eras. An artist is the ultimate creator of ideas. The people who innovatively point out society's flaws because political issues are societal issues. Our American system of meritocracy and capitalism and consumerism are socially constructed systems and ideas that create structure, functionality, and progress. But if we blindly follow such concepts and norms and ideas, then progression would be impossible. But within our education, we have been taught that through history, there has been oppression, discrimination, racism, and constant evolutions caused by deviation. Our system is not perfect. Notable art developments such as Impressionism, Expressionism, Neoclassicism, the Renaissance, Realism, Pop Art, Contemporary Art, Surrealism, Modern Art, etc. all reject or oppose events of societal ideologies, as well as reflect the artist's point of view. The painting I'm working on in this video reflects my concerns for environmental progressions in our society and how consumerism and the use of plastic is in abundance in our everyday lives. From water bottles to plastic bags from the supermarket as well as packaging dependence is included in my painting with the juxtaposition of fresh fruit. And although not all art has to be political, the most meaningful art pieces contain some societal perspective, norms, or ideology that an artist does not agree with. Whether it be mental health, environmental concerns, equality, class, or equity, but it is this type of art that is influential and it advocates an urgency which is threatening and that is why political art is so powerful because it causes change. It can reach far and wide and one must always remember that artists are capable of social change at a societal and reachable level.